Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Michael Steckler, who is the CEO of Tradeify. Tradeify is a job management solution for tradespeople and contractors, which handles quoting, invoicing, job scheduling, and more. Welcome to the jam, Michael. My pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. No worries. So to start off, could you give me just an overview of Tradeify and how your software works? Yeah, so Tradeify was set up on the notion of trying to make tradies' lives easier. Um, so what you find with most tradies uh, all over the world is they want to spend time on the tools and the tools as in their tools of their trade, not doing admin and paperwork. And so Tradeify was really set up to take out the sort of make admin and paperwork really simple, fast and easy to do using cloud-based software. So essentially the easy way to think about this as a consumer is if you were looking for a trade service online or a tradesman to come and do some work, um, you might search for a plumber, an electrician, um, once you've found the appropriate person, that becomes an inquiry in Tradeify. So it could be a phone number, it could be an email address for the work. And then as soon as the tradee wants to quote for that work, they would use Tradeify to quote for the work. That then becomes a job if the quote's accepted by the customer. And once that's a job, they can do things like manage external contractors or workers with timesheets, see where they are on a, on a map, all that kind of good stuff. And they can look at supplier costs, um, all those things, and then track the job from start to finish. And as soon as the job is finished, that's finished within Tradeify, they would then create an invoice, which goes out to the customer. Um, and then once they get paid, and in some instances, they actually pay uh, via Tradeify um, and then get paid um, into their bank account. And so we're principally managing that kind of end-to-end -end workflow of a tradee's kind of life um, from the moment they start a job to the moment they finish a job. Um, and there's some CRM capability. So we allow them to then collect that customer data. So if they want to do work for a customer again, that's all again within Tradeify. So Principally, we kind of want to become synonymous with um, software for tradies and the software that powers great trades companies and that's sort of the future of the company and where we're, where we're focused. And um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so whereabouts are you based and what is your um, international sort of um, footprint? Yeah, so most of the company are based in Auckland, in New Zealand. Um, so our sort of R&D team, sales and marketing, customer support, most of the businesses is here. Um, we have a very fast growing kind of UK operation. So we have a team um, over in London uh, and that's growing very quickly. Uh, and we're currently trying to hire um, a lot more kind of product and engineering people in New Zealand, as well as more sales and marketing support in the UK. And we have customers, actually the majority of our customers are outside of New Zealand is important to us, but the majority of our customers um, are outside of New Zealand. So we have customers in the US, UK, South Africa, Australia is a very big and important market to us. Um, and have there been any improvements or enhancements to your product recently? Yeah, we've done a, we've done a number of things, um, sort of going back to the principles of making tradies' lives easier. One of the things we we do when we approach how we think about product enhancements is is deep user research, and we do that a number of ways. We have focus groups where we actually speak to individual customers and try and figure out what they need and what works and what doesn't work. We also use Ask Nicely for sort of regular product feedback, where we often get. Um, enhancement suggestions and one of the big things that came through was really trying to speed up the process of quotes being accepted and at the other end of the kind of value chain tradies getting paid on time frankly are two really important things and so we integrated a quote reminder um, feature as well as an invoice reminder feature so what that really means is if you're a customer and you're sort of paying someone to come and do some decking the trading would send you the quote for the decking. Um, and then what we do if the customer doesn't respond, we send an automated email. So in the old days, the trading would have to chase the customer, ring them, send them an email, chasing up whether, whether they wanted to sort of complete the work. We now send kind of an automated CRM based email um, at certain dates to remind them that, hey, the quote's online, you haven't accepted it, please click here. Once they've viewed the quote, the trader can see that they've viewed it. Once they've accepted the quote, the trader sees they've accepted it. And at the other end of the value chain for invoicing, again, a real, real problem for traders is getting paid on time and cash flow. So we do a similar thing where when the invoice hasn't been opened and looked at, we send a reminder. And if it hasn't been paid after a certain period of time, again, we would send another prompt. And that all happens in the background. The trader doesn't have to do anything. And it just happens seamlessly. Um, and they get paid a lot faster. So that's a pretty big enhancement. The other one, um, we've got a pretty responsive and agile engineering team. We tend to work in kind of small squads of six people on sort of defined issues and areas of focus. And we saw during the, the sort of COVID pandemic that um, there was a need to sort of do track and trace for tradies that were going out in the field and working. So we integrated very quickly. We put a squad of people on that and built a track and trace feature within, within Tradeify. So um, that's principally how we approach things. And the, the, my only other thing that we're very, very focused on is mobile. 
So Tradeify was built from the ground up to work across all platforms, whether you're on an Android device, uh, iOS or desktop. And um, so we, we think actually more of our users in the future will start to use more mobile based devices. iPads are very popular for tradies, for example. Um, so we're spending a lot of time thinking about the user experience um, on mobile and how we can improve that. Right, yeah. Um, and obviously tradespeople aren't immune from the global pandemic. So um, how has the pandemic uh, affected your business and how have you adapted? Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. So we did, I've already referenced the kind of track and trace stuff that we did in the product. So we did a number of things in the product to really help tradies be able to keep doing their work and, and do that seamlessly. And I think that was important. So there's two big areas for tradies that the software really enables. One is track and trace is an obvious one. The other one actually is just contactless payment and how to get paid, making that easier to enable that. Um, so we have an integration with Stripe, which tradies can use to get, get paid. And that tends to be a bit more frictionless. Um, the other thing we saw was we commissioned some research in New Zealand, Australia, and, and the UK recently um, for several of our trading, quite a, a large number of our trading customers to see how COVID had impacted their actual business. Um, and we can track all this stuff in our platform. So we see how many quotes have gone out. We see how many jobs tradies are actually working on, and we see how many invoices are going out. And you definitely saw a kind of drop in those numbers during severe lockdowns. So if you think about for those that are in, in New Zealand, back in April, there was a real drop. And then as soon as we came out of lockdown, you saw a very, very quick recovery. What the feedback we've had from the survey and what you've generally seen happen is that the vast majority, certainly in Australia and in New Zealand, have seen a almost complete recovery. And in many instances, actually are experiencing a boom, uh, which you can put down to kind of disposable income that might have been used for a holiday in Bali or whatever it might have been is now being used in home improvement. And also, frankly, people were stuck at home for longer periods of time, spotting things that needed to be done. Uh, and then trying to get um, tradies to come and do that do that work. So generally speaking, it depends on the market. The UK, I think we're hearing there has been a definite growth back to kind of pre-COVID levels, but clearly we're we're not out of the woods yet. We don't know what the next six to nine months hold, but at the moment, the general feedback is is, is pretty positive for, for our industry for sure. Right, yeah. And um, finally, what's the best way to get in touch with Tradify? Yeah, you go to our website, www.tradifyhq.com. Um, there's all of our phone numbers and details there and lots of information about the company. And so, yeah, feel free to shoot over to that website. Perfect. Well, that concludes today's 10-minute IT Jam with Tradify CEO, Michael Stickler. Thank you so much for joining today, Michael. No, thanks for having me.